Hey guys, how are you? Uh, it's a sunny day and here's my next long-awaited tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to extract a baseline out of a sample loop. Well, here's a sample I'm going to use today. Yeah, the 70s. Yeah, funky. and so on. It's a change and there's a song called Miracles. And I already prepared some drum loops for it, just to have some fun. Let's see, nothing fancy. Drum loop. A little top loop, the snare and the noise. And I'll bring in the sample. Uh, three. It's nice, but it's kind of boring to lay out this uh, kind of sample and uh, sometimes you get problems with copyrights and so on. So, but maybe we can extract the bass line, which I really like. And we're going to start with the gate. Here we go. Let's chunk it. Uh, first of all, uh, you have to use the low pass function and play with the frequency. So it means it reacts only uh, on low tones. This is just a start, so next one is an uh, auto filter. Auto filter, one of my favorite plugins. Uh, here I'm going to cut the high frequencies around 250, 230, like this. Yeah, and it's already, you can hear it. It's good if you use some earphones, some good earphones. Yeah. So, before. Yeah, it's already there. But we're not finished that yet. You have to play a little bit with release. And also, I recommend to sidechain from the sample. Yeah, it cuts a little bit more. Also, if you play with a frequency, you can hear chunks a little bit different. I prefer 250. Okay. Next one in my chain is a saturator to bring back uh, the harmonics. I kind of like this. Yeah. Let's listen with the drum loop. It's, it's coming, but we're not finished yet. Next one is um, a friend of mine, <laughs> Max Bass by, by Waves, I think so. Yeah, it's Max Bass. Max, Max Bass in mono. And what we're going to do here, just add some more upper harmonics. <laughs> You see it's clipping, so you have to reduce the output of the saturator. Also, you can play around with dry wet, not 100%, like 70-80%. Cool. Okay. 
Yeah, gives a little bit punch. Okay, that's cool. And the next one, I like to use the U-ray compressor by by Waves. They call it CLA seventy six or so. Yeah. Okay, here I use the preset, um, the bass preset. See, yeah, it's too much. So we reduce. Like minus five dB, something in that area. Now let's hear with the drum loop again. You can bring it up. Not bad. I'd like to add an EQ. Um, EQ. EQ8. Yeah, and roll off some frequencies below 50 hertz, something, something like this. Sometimes I use a shelf filter. Yeah, sounds good to me. Mud out at 600. Okay, it's getting there. Okay, and just a final touch. I'd like to add a compressor. Compressor, the standard compressor by Ableton, and uh, sidechain it with my sidechain kick. I have a sidechain kick. Uh, it's not in the mix, so I took it out, but you can choose it here. I call it kick. So it's pumping a little. Okay. To taste. The final step is to add a uh, utility. Set it to mono. Just turn the width down to 0%. Yeah, it's pumping. Mm, also, you can group. You group all together, make a group. And next one, yeah, group. So you can hear before and after. I call it. Base extract <clears throat> two. Okay, let's hear it. Before. Boring. Yeah. Also you can play around with the with the frequency. get more or less tones. Yeah. So I hope this helps and inspires you. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe my channel and like this video. Thank you very much. Bye.